everyone, I'm Tracy Lockwood Beckerman. I'm a registered dietitian, usually in New York City. Today, I'm not. But regardless, it's still my job to help you figure out what to eat and why on You Versus Food. Today, we're talking about zinc, a trace mineral that the body needs for everything, from cellular growth and division to cognitive function and DNA synthesis. Why is this such a hot topic, you might ask? Well, zinc is one of our body's favorite minerals with some serious immune-boosting bennies. How timely. Zinc is an essential nutrient. That means your body cannot create it or store it. So we need to consume enough zinc each day in order to maintain normal levels. Experts recommend eating eight milligrams of zinc per day for adult women and 11 milligrams of zinc per day for adult men. Okay, so you may be zinking. What does it do exactly? Well, zinc plays a vital role in immune cell functioning by making proteins, DNA, and turning on enzymes that act as first responders against bacteria and viruses. With zinc supplements flying off the shelves all around the country, I do want to caveat that zinc is not proven to treat or prevent symptoms of COVID-19. COVID-19 is a relatively new disease that shares many symptoms with the cold and flu, but there is no concrete evidence that proves that zinc has any impact on the treatment or prevention of COVID-19. However, zinc can be helpful when dealing with a normal cold. A study conducted by the University of Helsinki found that supplementing with 80 to 92 milligrams of zinc per day may reduce the length of the common cold. My favorite cold fighting supplement is Umka. I always recommend getting your essential vitamins and minerals through food as much as possible. And there's actually a high chance you're getting your daily value of zinc without even realizing it. So zinc your teeth into this list of healthy high zinc foods. Shellfish are great healthy sources of zinc. Six medium oysters can contain 32 milligrams or 291% of your daily value. Whoa. Someone's being pretty shellfish with that zinc content. And shrimp, crab, and mussels all have high quantities of the mineral as well. Another common source of zinc is red meat. A three ounce beef patty contains 5.3 milligrams or 48% of your daily value of zinc. The same amount of dark meat chicken has 2.4 milligrams or 22% of your daily value. Still sounds pretty good to me. Nuts and seeds can also be great sources of the mineral. Three tablespoons of hemp seeds contain 5.1 milligrams, or 43% of your daily value of zinc. An ounce of dried pumpkin seeds contain 2.2 milligrams, or 20% of your daily value. And a one ounce serving of cashews contain 15% of your daily value. Additionally, legumes like chickpeas and beans can also be great sources of the mineral. One and a quarter cups of cooked lentils contain one milligram or 12% of the daily value of zinc. They're also great sources of vegan and vegetarian protein. Milk and cheese also have high quantities of zinc while also containing protein, calcium, and the ever essential vitamin D. While food may be the easiest and my recommended way to get your daily value of the mineral, it's not the only way. If you aren't able to incorporate enough meat, seafood, nuts, seeds, legumes, and dairy into your diet, or if you have a medical condition that may hinder your body's ability to absorb zinc, you can also meet your daily value of zinc by taking supplements. There are a few forms of supplemental zinc to take such as zinc gluconate, zinc sulfate, and zinc acetate. However, research has not determined any significant difference among forms of zinc in absorption, bioavailability, or tolerability. With a well-rounded diet, you are likely getting all the zinc your body requires. If you do feel a cold coming on and wanna load up on both zinc and vitamin C, 
Whip up a seedy trail mix with pumpkin seeds, cashews, and dried cranberries. Know this, having a zinc deficiency is pretty uncommon. It typically occurs in people with rare genetic mutations, breastfeeding infants whose mothers don't have enough zinc, or people with alcohol addictions. If you feel you may be deficient in zinc, it is important to talk to your doctor to figure out a plan of action for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of You vs. Food. Subscribe to Well and Good's YouTube channel for more tips and tricks for what to eat and why. I'd be tickled zinc if you do. Guys, emergency. I just ran out of food puns. If you zinc of any, please leave them in the comments below.